Okay, hello and welcome back to another Red Resurrection 1v1 here. It's between uh, me and Black Snow. I'm playing as Europe here in the uh, top player spawn on high and dry and he's playing Libya on the bottom. Uh, unfortunately my radar was uh, messed up this game as you can see it's all bizarre. <laughs> um, unfortunately not even that strip of uh, supposedly revealed radar is actually working, so don't have a radar this game. Um, but uh, I don't remember anything else about this match, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I think I played it quite a while ago. There we go, got weird shit on my radar. And so we'll see. Hopefully it's a good game, <laughs> otherwise I'm wasting my time doing this. Uh, but it is on the uh, on the latest patch, so I think you get to probably see some quantum lab stuff maybe, and some of the new uh, more recent naval stuff. And this map itself came in the in the uh, last patch, 2.2.10. And uh, as I always do, even though I'm not even sure it's worth the money, but it's, uh, it's fun. I like to send an engineer around and capture their oil derrick. Uh, wonder if I get 300 credits in that time. Probably not. But uh, it's irritating, I guess. So it's worth it just for that reason. And I'm um, being a little aggressive, and I'm also, uh, I guess, thinking about expanding early, since I'm sending a, a, a Guardian GI over to the my airport on the uh, east side of the map. I'm like, oh, I thought I was going to build the lab already, which was uh, not <laughs> probably not the wisest decision, because I wouldn't uh, even need to use it. For a while, considering there is the airport, so I can expand off that. Pushing forward a little. Doing some uh, GI micro there to try and get them all in a line. And uh, now I've got the high ground. And uh, GIs. Pretty much uh, still Red Alert 2 GIs in this mod, so they can gun down buildings pretty damn quick. But luckily, everything else has been uh, made Imber as well, so they're not uh, as bad as they were in Vanilla. At least everything else can uh, kill them too. Oh, he stills off. So I killed, what was that? Three barracks, was it? And a Tesla reactor that I made him get rid of. Not bad. He's gonna have to engage me at some point. Um, and I'm actually going for a second refinery, I think. After I just capturing capturing the uh, the airport, and I'll be getting free tanks as well since I have my uh, T2 up already. I think. Here comes a scorcher and a Rykov to run over some of my infantry. Oh, and he gets pretty good uh, squashes there. I'm not quite sure why he's not engaging with the conscripts though. I think he should have, uh, could have done that earlier. But well, he's kept me at bay for now. Ah, now I'm going for a refinery. I don't know what I built before then. I missed it. I placed something and I wasn't even paying attention. Maybe the war factory. Who knows? And these grenadiers are going to slaughter the barracks because they just do insane damage <laughs> to uh, structures, pretty much, pretty much all structures, especially lighter, lighter ones. Whoa! And I am going for an early uh, quantum leap. I think uh, 
This is when I was experimenting with that a lot. During the uh, playtesting of the patch. Wanted to see uh, what you can do with it early on. And if you have good economy, like uh, starting gems, which I did on this, but I've kind of spent them already, uh, then it can be really good early on. And oh! Ah, oh, the alligator <laughs> killed my seal. Quicker than the seals. Oh, and that guy couldn't even run away from the uh, oil derrick. And the other one got terror drone, so that's a good set of deaths, isn't it, for a little spec ops squad? Alligator, oil derrick, and uh, terror drone. And I've got another refinery. Is that three now? Am I? What am I doing? Three refineries. Yes. Where am I? At least I have a cup of tea. Ah, boy. So my economy is pretty good now, actually. I mean, I've got a lot of miners and, and shit. So I'm really trying to boldly uh, develop my economy because I guess I assume that I've done enough sort of damage or enough uh, sort of forward aggressive pushing to keep them at bay for now so I can be safe to uh, eco up pretty hard Oh, look at that mini map. It's totally <laughs> flipping useless. Scorches, but uh, maybe he decides to turn around. Maybe he can see my uh, liberties. I'm not even sure if he's scouting my base though. This game. Don't remember seeing any any dogs. And I'm going to do a push through the uh, the middle. In fact, because he's crawled away from me. So I'm going to have to chase him. Run him down. And I'm going for T3 as well. So actually it's pretty fairly early I guess for me, but then I don't know. Guess I can do this game, so uh So I have done. And bishops are very good, obviously. And another MCV, what is happening? I don't even need that, I've got the quantum lab. Which I'm not even using. Oh boy. So I'm just building lots of buildings at the moment. Building buildings. Playing uh, Sim City. And <laughs> it's a bit premature. There's uh, obviously the new crackdown ability, which was uh, added in the last patch for Europe, which turns your normal GIs into assault GIs, which are these. Uh, Sort of riot police. They have shotguns and uh, flashbangs which stun infantry for three seconds. They stop infantry from firing for three seconds. So they're very good in uh, infantry engagements, anti infantry engagements. And uh, hopefully that adds to the police state kind of theme that Europe has. And, uh, you know, the whole point of uh, developing Europe more in the last few patches, really, was just to, as part of the whole uh, process of making countries feel, you know, kind of diverse, and but also have a theme, you know, so they kind of have a strong identity. And yet there's, you know, there's a few different things that you can do each game, rather than just like one sort of linear path, which I felt like Europe still was, even though I think they improved uh, a, f a couple of patches ago. The last patch, I think, just kind of sealed sealed the deal with the Quantum Lab separating off Quantum Leap, so you can uh, do that earlier if you want, or you can go to T3 and then kind of be more uh, militarily aggressive. And there we've got some Assault GIs going in for the kill. 
Let's see if they actually manage to do anything. They're not great against uh, vehicles. They're not terrible, but they're not uh, great either. Should get rid of these infantry. Oh, whoa. I thought we would actually take both of them out. But uh, probably dealt really heavy damage to that uh, other bishop with his vultures, which looked like they went flew to the island, maybe. Um, and I'm losing this <laughs> this wet eastern uh, edge here. There's a lot of scorchers, and uh, they're going to get my T3 in no time. Going to take my bishops down here though. Boom! That one goes. I'm not sure I'd engage that war miner <laughs> with all that anti-infantry. Oh, and a deployed terror drone actually did significant damage there. I'm not building enough. Got quite a bit of money, but uh, not sure what I'm producing. Probably the service crane. I think there's a terror drone in there. I'm not sure. I think I was watching for one, but uh, I guess I decided there wasn't. Oof. The vultures. Might be able to take that bishop with the conscripts actually. No, nope. gonna finish it with the vulture. He's got quite a lot actually. That's. But when you freeze them, wait a minute. Oh no, they all died to the uh, to the battle bunkers. Damn, I want to see the planes crash because you when you freeze the uh, the airfield they do, which is kind of bullshit in a way. It's really you don't even have to take out the building; you just freeze it crash the aeroplanes and then uh, jump out. I think I might have gotten one though, but uh, I'm going to take out this war miner. Moving a uh, liberty around there to do some damage to the vultures that landed, maybe, before they can reload. Um, not sure what's going on there. Oh, he uh, depiloted a few of my uh, tanks though. So it looks like his base is kind of uh, kind of wrecked. Moving in, he's obviously uh, evacuated with his MCV a while ago. He, the vulture strike, could take out a lot of uh, GIs. Not sure if he has any ammo though. Nope, he just sells it, and the planes are abandoned. Why? Why would you do this to me? So I'm expanded in all directions now. So my economy is worse than ever. Kind of. I think I'm getting a decent income, but I think I lost a few miners as well to uh, to Snow's Eastern attack earlier on. Yeah, I'll take out that Tesla reactor. And I'm going to actually capture the uh, like 10 HP uh, Libby's for some reason, but uh, you know, leave no man behind and all that. Back on T3. I'm going to go for the ore purifier. Rather than naval, I checked out naval for a while. Ah, and his conyard is on the island over there. You can see it. Unit promoted. Unit ready. So I've got some battle bunkers there that are proving to be a pain. And I'm going to try and even save those liberties. I'm going to send them all the way across the map to the uh, service crane. What a great commander! Oh. oh, I think he just missed the emergency repair as well. That's always tragic when that happens. Because it makes a big difference, you know? It's like uh, life or death, and you choose death for a total uh, accident. That's a bit ballsy, that, but I suppose that's, you know, what I do. What I am, what can I say? Uh. Ah, this is a little earlier then. This isn't <laughs> this isn't quite the latest uh, patch. This was, was in the beta or in the testing period for the patch because I had an animation after that for the uh, quantum leap. But uh, pushing forward, right in his face. I feel like he could still take me out with those conscripts though. So that's quite a lot, and I need my crackdown ability to charge. Well, them, them liberties just... Oh, they took out the bunker. Thought uh, thought it might be full of flax, but uh, luckily it wasn't. 
And damn. I'm afraid that woman has to die. So I can place the uh, refinery. Shouldn't say those things, I'll get banned on YouTube. Oh, I'm joking. So, we've got some assault GIs, some grenadiers. Pretty, uh, pretty scary force. Not a lot of anti infantry there, though. But uh, hopefully, through brute force alone, I can do it. I'm going to take out that bunker. Fairly easy. Drugged grenadiers. Very uh, potent. It's always scary though when you've only got uh, Guardian GIs <laughs> left because they're just vulnerable to so many like basic things like conscripts. And what are we doing? Going for more power. Because Europe does need a lot of power. That's one of the downsides of their uh, countries basically because of the quantum lab. Uh, they tend to need, and warp nodes as well, tend to need a lot of power. And the Bastion, if you choose to build it, which uh, was worked, reworked as well in the last patch. I think it's kind of it's simpler than it was, and it's kind of it's kind of tragic. I, you know, I had to took, take away the um, the uh, what I called it, a Chrono Prison, which was the uh, ability that it had to abduct uh, vehicles and infantry into itself, so that you could kind of like a weapon that would remove them from the battlefield, but then you could free them from the Bastion. That's That was taken out in the last patch because uh, it had a few bugs and it wasn't, I don't know, just it was a bit random, didn't really work that well. Um, but it was, it was a very cool idea, just uh, didn't quite work as well as it could, so that got removed and now it's, uh, but now I think it's better. It just buffs infantry armor in a huge area, but it also decreases the uh, armor of all enemies in the area as well so for an enemy uh, you can kind of shoot into the radius of the bastion and deal more damage or fight better outside the range of the bastion if you actually go under the under the bastion's effects yourself then it uh, is even harder to fight which uh, I think is kind of an interesting little dynamic basically so uh, you kind of want to uh, so the Bastion, I think, creates a sort of safe, a safe space for uh, European troops. Um, but you can still, you know, throw insults into it with effect. That is a lot of infantry, and I've got very little actually. I've got loads of money though. That's a, that's this is embarrassing. I've got nothing but 20k in my bank. What's that about? Have I not been building stuff? But. Here come the assault uh, GIs, which will prevent uh, infantry from firing when they use their. Uh... Oh, that's a pretty nice uh, standoff, though, isn't it? I got some drugged GIs. Oh, beautiful. So I managed to repel him, actually. But good on him for actually uh, pulling away, I think. Because. Uh, probably cut his losses. Let's see, this is actually a little. Messy, isn't it? He's got a naval yard. So do I, though. I've got a couple of destroyers. Just need to keep training stuff. Bloody hell, what are you doing? I'm rubbish. Need even more power. Hey, I'm gonna go for a bastion. Got some. Oh yeah, I think I just remembered the um, maybe the oil derricks that are on the water. I don't think I captured them. I think I always forget about them on this map, despite the fact I made it. Um, always forget to go for them, but they're obviously a big boost. Not that I need it, because I got all them gems. I suppose that's why I have the money. But uh, that's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I was looking at what the hell happened. He's got suddenly Zabas, Toads, in my base. There's the Bastion. 
if, if nothing else, the Bastion adds ambiance to uh, to Europe. Um, gonna at least cut off his uh, construction. Be annoying. Probably not going to get it, but uh, they're still it's still pretty good to just block super weapons temporarily. Be irritating with uh, the Chrono Legionnaires, and he's got. Uh, did kill the Zabas, but he's still got his um, uh, Sea Dragons. Got a few more Assault GIs. He hasn't yet noticed the Chrono Legionnaires. Should take a while though to get rid of. Uh... Oh, and I lost to my T2 and T3. That's pretty bad. So let's chase these guys down. I have no uh, air units either. So. Uh... Sea dragons might be a bit of a pain. Oh, he's noticed the uh, the Clegs. And uh, taking out hordes of infantry with those shotgun troops. It's just like uh, Paris right now. There you go. It's satirical. This mod predicted Brexit. Because I have separate UK Europe countries. Predicted uh, slavery in Libya. <laughs> um, kind of predicted ISIS actually, because uh, <laughs> in previous versions of the mod, Libya was called the Libyan Caliphate. I changed that because it didn't make really sense why they would be in the Soviet Union to me, but um, that's what they were, I guess. Because it seemed kind of cool. <laughs> and then ISIS happened. Um, and uh, riots in Europe, and police state Europe, so on point. On point with the satire, cut close to the bone, I like to do. Loads of infantry here, and they're buffed to uh, high heaven with uh, the bastion and drugs if they need it. <laughs> if they need drugs, I got them. Building a—is that another war factory, or did I actually lost my war factory for a long time? I think I did. And I'm still on uh, T T2. Not quite, uh, not quite T1, but nearly. I could use some bastions right now. Uh oh, Demotruck. And I'm gonna do it anyway. Why would I do that? Run away. It's got Demotrucks. Oh yeah. And then I give them drugs so that they die happy. But that was fucking that was absolute waste. Yes, and I did add <laughs> dot 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 I don't I knew it was stupid. And I did it anyway. Um but uh, for some reason, I'm going to try and capture the tech satellite. I don't even need it at this point, really, but who cares, I guess. No one else captured it, so I guess I will. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I feel like uh, things have gone a bit crazy <laughs> in this game. I lost uh, sense of what the hell was happening. Um... Better back out of there, I think. Although they can, uh, gunboats can uh, kite Zabas. But Zabas are better uh, armoured and have a better attack, so. But then gunboats have the speed and the range, and they can also deploy to repair themselves over time. But then they have slightly slower self healing in general, so. There you go, swings and roundabouts, that's how you balance a game. Uh oh. Well, it took out two. And then you could see the repair there. Deploy repair. But uh, I'm going to have to back off because his grinders and uh, gunboats are not the best versus the grinders. We do have a dolphin though, which uh, dis disables the weapon of uh, the unit that it targets, the vehicle. Oh Christ, <laughs> that's another demo. Run, I thought I clicked. What the hell? That is... Well, actually, not a bad split, to be honest. The, uh, I think uh, Snow should have uh, 
deployed earlier. I guess he got a bit greedy. Oh, we're gonna lose. No, nope, didn't lose the dolphin. Managed to pull him away, but he's got subs as well, which is bad. I'm on T3 again. Oh, on the death end. Finished my infantry. Nice. I don't have destroyers yet, I don't think, so uh, I'm gonna get one now, but uh, he's got subs. At least one, so that could be an issue. Uh, but Dolphins only disable, I think, ranged vehicles. Same as the arms jammer, so it doesn't disable grinders. And uh, yeah, going for another war factory because uh, the Sea Dragons. He's using naval actually really well since he uh, fled, fled to the oceans. Ah, depiloted my uh, bishop there as well, which is a pain. But I've got Voitech. I should have built him in my base, maybe, and then I could have uh, done something. But uh, built a prison tower as well. But uh, I'm fleeing with my uh, NCV. Still loaded. But I've got no troops. Trying to get power back, but uh, not going to happen. Yes, I'm very much out of power. As I was just checking. Oh, and he's really going for the power as well. So. Clever girl. And it uh, looks like my troops were killed that were there. I think I had some troops down there. So it's not looking good. I think uh, Snow has uh, managed to like withstand my assaults. And uh, it's turned the tables. Uh, I'm still playing, though. <laughs> so I think I'm uh, thinking I'm going to try and uh, take that refinery, but uh, I'm kill those Greyons, the bazookas, placed by a uh, Greyon Delek. The uh, pesky gut, pesky uh, alligators fighting with my uh, destroyer. That's a lot of sea dragons, and that's a lot of uh, coastal constructions. I don't know why I put the power up there. I think to try and heal it back up, but there's no saving that power plant. And. Uh, just in case no one's noticed, in fact, little uh, tip, hints and tips. The dome on the quantum lab, it's, uh, it's dark now because I'm in low power, but it, its color changes when the uh, ability is ready, so you can tell when your enemy has a quantum leap. Because it'll glow blue, I think, and then it's, uh, it glows red when it's not ready. And you can also use it, I guess, to check yourself if you uh, don't want to click around and scroll up the sidebar and stuff. Just a little element, and I should do that, I guess, for all T2 uh, buildings, or most of them anyway. Um, like maybe Cy Cybernetics Core, I could do it for. As well, obviously, uh, the uh, Solaris is uh, quite obvious when it's uh, charged and stuff. Did I build that power plant there again? Uh, so I'm sandwiched here and this looks like it's going to be game over while my minimap is absolutely freaking out. Sea Dragons, Lamia as well, and uh, that is GG, look at my old base, it's just devastated. And I call GG, Black Snow wins this round on high and dry, and it's a pretty neat little game, and Dreadnoughts.